Hello, this is Spaces from A to Z training course with you, Dr. Mona Sahimi. Now we are going to check abdominal examination. Start your examination by washing your hand, uh, greeting your patient, introduce yourself, take permission. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Dr. Mona. Can I examine you, please? Take a step back, do general survey. Look for the patient and surrounding. In the patient, you look to body build and if any clue for underlying cause like rheumatological features or uh, gout to phi or other clues that may help you in diagnosis. In the surrounding, you may find a um, catheter, urinary catheter, glucometer or other clues. Start your general examination by checking the hand for the presence of clapping, fine tremors, clapping tremors, palmar erythema and dupitrin contracture. Now, check the forearm for the presence of fistula. Fistula either present in the radial part or brachial part. And check the upper arm for the presence of spider nevi. Move up to the face, looking for pallor. Look up. Look down, please. Uh, check the mouse for the presence of ulcers, um, pigmentations, or uh, evidence of malabsorption. Would you open your mouth, please? Uh, sorry. And then check for the uh, neck veins. Then examine the chest uh, for the presence of spider nevi, uh, absent axillary hair or scars in the axilla for lymph node biopsy, and gynecomastia. Would you raise your arm, please? Thank you. Move down to the lower limb, checking for lower limb edema and start local examination of the abdomen by asking the patient to take a deep breath and cough while you are at the foot of the bed. Ask about pain and press while looking to his face. Any pain? No. Would you take a deep breath for me, please? Would you cough for me, please? <coughs> Thank you. Then start local examination of the abdomen by superficial palpation. You should ask your patient about pain, flatten the bed, and start local palpation uh, while kneeling. Uh, any pain? I'm going to flatten the bed. Start palpation from right iliac fossa, right lumbar, right hypochondrium, epigastrium, umbilical, hypogastrium. Left iliac, left lumbar, and left hypochondrium. You move in N shape. While you are doing superficial palpation, you should be looking to the patient face. Stand up and check right and left iliac fossa for any masses. Then deep palpation, looking for the right lower loop of the liver. Then uh, check the upper border of the liver to um, uh, Start your deep palpation by checking for right lower border of the liver at the mid clavicular line, then get the upper border by percussion of the chest to get the liver spin. Nafas. Move your hand from the right iliac fossa up while looking to the patient's face. Each time you put your hand, ask the patient to take a deep breath. If you couldn't feel the liver, repeat your examination by the tips of the finger, nafas. Take a deep breath, please. Deep breath, please. Deep breath, please. Percussion of the right lower border. Then get the upper border of the liver by heavy percussion of the chest. Doing tidal percussion. Take a deep breath and hold it, please. Take it out, please. Okay. Then check for the left lower border. Uh, take a deep breath, please. Again, please. Okay. Then percussion.
After this, look for the spleen. Start from right iliac fossa parallel to the left costal margin. Take a deep breath for me, please. Again, please. If you couldn't palpate the spleen, repeat the maneuver from left iliac fossa directly upward. Nafas. Nafas. If you couldn't palpate it, ask the patient to turn to the right side. Tala al gamba kalimin. And palpate it in the right lateral position. Nafas. And percuss at the last position you do palpation on. Check the dullness on the splenic bed. Uh, the last three spaces, 11th, 10th, and 9th space, and your axillary line. Ask your patient to turn back. Then check for the kidney by bimanual examination. Take a deep breath, please, for me. Thank you. Lastly, check for ascites by percussion above the umbilicus. Below the umbilicus, you move your hand vertically going toward the iliac fossa. If there is no dullness, no need to shift. If you find there is dull note, you ask the patient to turn to the other side. Wait a few seconds. Then percuss again. Then ask him to turn back. Again, wait a few seconds and percuss again. If there is dullness, check if this dullness is changing from resonant to dull again. This means there is ascites or positive shifting dullness. Auscultation of the abdomen. You do the auscultation by checking first for renal berui, one stethoscope above and lateral to the umbilicus on each side. Venous hump, check in the midway between the zephy sternum and umbilicus. Ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Then, auscultate over any organomegaly. Ask your patient to sit. Check for spider nevi in the upper back. Sacral edema, any pain? No. Press while looking to his face and check for the edema. And finally, lymph node examination. Axillary lymph node, shake the patient's hand. Put your hand in the axilla. Press your patient over your arm. Uh, check, the, check the patient's hand. Put your hand in the other hand in the axilla. Okay. Examination of the axilla. Check the patient's hand. Put your other hand in the axilla and rest his hand over yours and put the shaking hand over his shoulder. Check the medial group, apical, anterior, posterior, and lateral. Again, shake his hand. Put your hand in the axilla. Support with the shaking hand. Check for medial group, apical, anterior, posterior, and lateral. Then cover your patient and thank him. And start interpreting.